10 of the 19 stress-tested banks got the okay to pay back the TARP aid yesterday. Margaret Popper is here to focus on one of the other nine. That's Wells Fargo. So, Margaret, will this bank ever pay back the money? Well, Deirdre, they'll be allowed to pay it back eventually. But as for timing, you can take your cue from a statement released yesterday by former Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson. He said, quote, the recovery of our financial system is underway, but the road is not short. Wells Fargo is focusing on digesting its acquisition of Wachovia, according to a spokeswoman who emailed that yesterday in a statement. She went on to say, quote, we will work closely with our regulators to determine the appropriate time to repay the TARP funds while maintaining strong capital levels. Chairman Dick Kovacevic may have landed Wells in the penalty box. That's what Anthony Polini and an analyst at Raymond James says, referring to Kovacevic's statement that the stress test was, quote, asinine, not the way to kiss up to your regulators. Wells came up $13.7 billion short after the stress test. The next day, the bank raised $8.6 billion by selling stock. Between that and internal capital generation, Wells expects to be able to fill the capital hole identified by the government. But to pay back TARP, Rockdale Securities analyst Dick Beauvais says Wells would have to raise even more capital. The bank wants to avoid this because it would dilute its common shares. As for the government, John Fisher, a portfolio manager who invests in financials at Fifth Third Asset Management, says it doesn't want to run any risk of Wells coming back for more aid in an election year. Back to you, Deirdre. Margaret, thanks very much.